what's your you know, interest to this particular problem? Um, um, you know, trying, trying to prove that some of one of Ren Square that moves in Russian. What made me interested? interested? Yes. Um, I just watched a video on it one day, actually. I watched a video on proving that it was equal to pi squared over 6, and from there, I was very interested in, like, number theory in general, and specifically, how to show that a number was irrational. Now, I, since then, I've taken a few proof courses, uh, where we've been forced to show for a few uh, basic examples that the square root of 2 is irrational. And eventually, I started wondering, how is pi shown to be irrational? How is e shown to be irrational? I kept exploring these proofs. I found it really interesting. So one day I tried to figure out how to prove that zeta of two is irrational by or without like actually calculating its value and then showing that was irrational. So there are two things that you started with the familiar proof of the square root of assumes that the rationality is very intuitive. Here there were um each step of what you did, except the thing integral, which after you said maybe you made a mistake because it looked like your power was going the wrong way. But other than that, each step of what you said was, I think, very clear. So um, I, I would guess that more proof of this is a better one for students that will have whatever we're existing for. But unfortunately, in real time, I wasn't able to follow all the pieces. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. I rehearsed this twice, no, and somehow I still made the power mistake. It, it, no, it's just that people are at different speeds, right? Yeah. And I um, I just don't move at that speed in, in that. And, oh. But um, I think this is being recorded here, right? Yeah. So <laughs> if I watch the, um, the video that Professor Phillips has recorded, um, I think I'll have a video. Yeah. Thank you. So we have one more. Is it your plan to study number theory when you enter in the fall, right? Yeah, I already entered. I'm currently already there. Yeah. yeah, I'm in my second semester. And I'm studying number theory, but I'm also looking for other research interests. I'm still in my first year, which means that I still have a lot of topics to go into, lots of things to study. And number theory is one of the things that has interested me at first. But also there were some more interesting and more advanced topics that I've looked into, like graph theory and ring theory, uh, that I also think I might want to go into instead. But I think that this was one of the earliest uh, higher level math topics that I found out about, which is why I was so interested in doing it, I mean, this early. I, I think let's, let's thank the speaker again for a moment. And just to reiterate, uh... Uh, Professor Howard's observation. I mean, I think this, the strategy that we traditionally use is, you know, to show directly that something like the square root of two is is irrational. But then here, what what, what in a sense we're doing is that we've we somehow constructed some integrals, and we've shown that these that that zeta of two kind of these integrals sort of converge in some sense. These integrals are rational, and that zeta of two are sort of Converging to zeta of two in a really nice way, exactly. and and so you somehow there 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 are questions there to ask, but we will save them for your next visit to Medgar Evers when I suppose you'll be a professor someplace. Yes, yeah, so uh, just to reiterate the this into an integral, then transform a rational approximation to another integral, then we bounded the rational approximation and showed that it converts much faster than any rational number. Yes, very good. Very, very, very wonderful job. Thank, Thank you again on behalf of our department. And I should say uh, to the faculty and to our students and also to uh, our administrative assistant, Ms. Brown, who's of course is responsible for our room and to our our, our, our videographer or streamer. Oh, yeah. And also, uh, of course, to uh, Professor Zuthi Lin, who and helped so me throughout this entire process. And possible. yeah, um, uh, he couldn't attend because he lived in the Netherlands. But. Which is essentially the working factor behind turbulence. Yeah. And that term is why turbulence still has a million dollars behind it. Yeah.